Do you just buy the bike that everyone needs, the bike that everyone wants? And we're talking about dirt jumpers here. Well then stay tuned because we got all the top upgrades you should be doing right after you grab that bike. All right, now the first stuff, you know, it's, it's pretty obvious, right? If you've been into any kind of cycling at all, touch points, right? We're talking grips. You wanna feel comfortable where you're putting your hands on the bike. We're talking pedals. When you got your feet stabilized, and especially with a dirt jumper, unless you're racing, flats are the way to go, right? You're able to position your feet. When you get start getting into tricks or whatever you may look to get into riding, flats are the way to go. And the last point here for touch points is I mean a saddle, right? We all wanna sit down on something comfortable when we are sitting down, and saddles just look sick. So those are the first three points we think you should upgrade, and that's your touch points. Grips, pegs, our pedals, and your saddle. Now that you're touching the bike exactly how you want, the next thing I would recommend for when it comes to upgrades is handlebars, right? Now with dirt jumpers, you got a little more options to go with, right? If you're going with something like what I got here on my Kona Shonky, I got a super high rise deity bar. Now what this does is it gives me a much more playful feel. It's more of like a BMX aspect. I'm able to pull up hard and get a lot of more playful feel when I'm out there riding this bike. All right, now maybe, you know, a nice high rise bar isn't for you. You're not looking for that playful rider. You're that super aggressive. You're just looking to really get aggressive on the pump track, go real fast. Well, the next option is you go with a much lower rise bar. This is gonna get your body position in a real aggressive aspect. When you're out there pumping, you're gonna be made for speed. So if that's kind of where you're looking for, maybe you're used to riding mountain a lot and you're looking to have that much more tighter aspect on the body positioning, then I would recommend going with a lower rise bar. So it, it kind of depends on how you're riding and maybe you buy two different bars and you try them both out and kind of get that aspect. If you're coming from BMX, the high rise might be the way to go. If you're coming from mountain and you're looking to stay aggressive, you're not looking to dirt jump a lot, and you're looking to ride the pump track a lot, then I would recommend a much lower rise and stay with that aggressive body positioning. All right, so if we're just keep going off touch points, now that we got how we're feeling on the bike, how does the bike feel on the ground? And by that I mean tires, right? Tires might be the next upgrade you should be considering. And it also depends again on the style of riding that you're doing. Are you riding a lot of dirt like you see right here with the dirt jumps behind me? Or maybe over this way where we have the pump track, that's the style of riding you're trying to do. So I would say depend, like buy your tires based on the type of riding you're doing. With the tires I have here on these Maxxis, what they're gonna do is they give me a much more all around aspect. It's not super made for dirt, it's not super made for pump track, but I get by on both. So I have that more all around tire and they work great. I've yet to have that real slip out moment. So they're really grippy and they're getting me to have a lot of fun still on the bike. So with tires, really aim it at exactly how you're gonna be riding and you may not know that right away. So buy that all around tire that's gonna get you exactly where you need to be. All right, got the bike covered. What about us, right? When you're getting into dirt jumping or if you're getting a dirt jumper bike and you're looking to ride the pump track like I've stated a million times, gear is a little bit different, right? Maybe when you're out riding mountain, you don't really ride knee pads. Maybe you just put some sleeves on, that's sufficient enough. Great, nothing wrong with that. When it comes to riding dirt jumps, you're gonna get a lot more playful bike, right? You're gonna be trying new things. You're gonna be jumping. You're gonna be pumping really hard on different materials. So having maybe a good set of knee pads is great. So I recommend getting some better gear, right? Get some gear that's focused on dirt jumps. And by that, you know what I mean? Maybe a good helmet, right? You're gonna be getting all over the place. Cool thing about dirt jumping helmets, they get a little more protection here on the side. So we highly recommend getting a good helmet and some better riding gear. All right, now the next upgrade is, you know, it's really dependent on exactly, again, how you're riding your dirt jumper. And what that is, is your brake cable. So for example, the stock brake cable that came on my Kona Shonky, not very long. I'm not gonna be able to get out there and do, you know, bar spins or any kind of tricks like that. But if you're looking to do those kind of tricks, it might be great to upgrade that brake cable, get a longer cable, be able to spin those bars and look sick for everyone out on the trails. Other options, there's always the gyro, right? Get that up here and be able to spin bars, looking sick, flying through the air, and spinning around like a helicopter. All right, and you know we like to get a little weird over here at Jensen and throw some outliers, some curveballs, and all that. Now here's an upgrade that you shouldn't do. And what that upgrade you shouldn't do is, do 
don't upgrade your fork right away. Chances are the dirt jumper you bought comes with a great fork already. May not be the best, it may not be the coolest you know, fork when you're out there riding, but chances are you're gonna get a lot of fun out of that fork still. So ride that fork for a while, see how it feels. Remember to lock it out depending on your riding, open that thing up when you need a little more play. Have fun with the fork you already have, and when that fork starts telling you it's time to upgrade it, then upgrade it. But right outside when you first start riding your dirt jumper, don't worry about upgrading your fork right away. I know they look sick on mountain bikes and everything, and you want that Kashima and everything else, but on the dirt jumper, chances are the fork you got, it's gonna keep you ripping and keep you going. All right, so I got Alex, the email magic maker here. All those sales, all those sick deals you're getting, this is the guy that's making all that creative genius. I got him out here at the bike park with me. He's got his dirt jumper. We're gonna go over just a few of the upgrades he's done so far to get out here and keep ripping. All right, Alex, so yeah, tell us a little bit of some of the upgrades you've done so far and like, give me maybe three of your favorite upgrades you've done. Uh, three of my favorite upgrades are probably my grips um, and my tires and my, uh, my extended brake cable. Sick. So, you know, what tires did you pick? So I picked the Maxxis DTH. They're a good all-around tire. Um, since I don't ride anything super loose, I'm not really doing it, any mountain biking on this bike. I wanted something that would be a little smoother in the park. So these tires are good for that, but they still grip great on, on packed dirt like this. So they're a good all-around tire. Awesome. Uh, and what's that saddle you got, dude? The saddle that I got is the, the DD Pivotal Dirt Jump Saddle. And uh, it's nice and thick, so if I have to pinch with my legs or, or whatever in the air, um, it holds up. Sick, dude. I mean, this bike is ripping, man. So, you know, how does like riding a dirt jumper transfer? I know you live up in Big Bear, you ride a lot of bike park. How does riding a dirt jumper say like, in this kind of season where maybe it's snowed out up there in Big Bear, riding a dirt jumper, how does that transfer into, you know, on your mountain bike? Uh, I definitely say it transfers in a, a multiple different ways, uh, especially at the bike park. You get to learn uh, your position and cornering. Uh, you learn how to obviously pump out on the trail so you're not pedaling quite as much and it just, it makes you a smoother overall rider. That's awesome. You know, one thing I've noticed when you're ripping out here on jumps, like you're getting a lot more control in the air. You, the bike feels a little bit more playful as you're, you know, riding. So does that style of like having a playful bike under you transfer to when you, you know, maybe get on your downhill bike and then go, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think this being a lighter, smaller bike, it gives you that opportunity to move it around more in the air, get more comfortable with uh, your style and, and your body position in the air and it transfers straight over the downhill bike. If you can maneuver this thing in the air, the downhill bike is way easier. Absolutely. You know, one thing I know that you and I, we, we talk about this a lot, but we think that everyone should have a dirt jumper, right? It's that bike that everyone needs. It's the bike that you're gonna have the most fun on, right? And I, I know you would agree with that. Yeah. Um, is there anything that you would add maybe on that someone, when, if they're buying their dirt jumper, what would you recommend they upgrade first? Uh, I would definitely say either your tires or your, or your handlebars. Those are probably the two first things that I would upgrade. Definitely, I know we both have pretty high rise bars here. We come from BMX background, dirt jumping and stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, having that high rise really gives that kind of poppy feel and all that fun. Yeah, yeah, it definitely gives you an upright position and that's probably the quickest way to change the overall feel of your bike is to change out the handlebars. If you want something higher or if you want something lower, you're more of a pump track race guy. Um, it's a super quick and not too expensive way to completely change the feel of your bike. Awesome, dude. Well, thanks for going over your bike with me. Uh, let's get back out there and ride and have some fun. Yeah, for sure. Now again, this is the bike that we really believe here that, at Jensen that everyone needs. This is the bike you can go rip with your family, go down the street. This is the bike you can grab and have a ton of fun in 30 minutes, right? The bike is designed purely for fun. You're gonna learn a lot when you're riding it. The dirt jumper is gonna transition all your skills into your other riding disciplines. If you're riding mountain, if you're riding downhill at the bike park, whatever it may be, riding a dirt jumper is only gonna make you a better cyclist, right? You're gonna have more fun, you're gonna learn bikes better. And that's what we wanna do, right? We wanna have a lot of fun on bikes. So stay tuned, we got a ton of great stuff coming up. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you with a new video every week.